guys, what is up? I'm Brian here doing a new video for you guys and this time I am just taking a look at my custom little Transformers Prime add-ons. Now before I start this video, yes they are all based on Transformers Prime stuff uh, or more or less just based around the Transformers Prime figures, just something for uh, them to have. It doesn't necessarily mean that no one else can use these. Um, in fact they have actual plugins uh, for other Transformers figures. These are all completely made out of cardboard, and technically these are six things, but two make up of two different things, so I'm going to show them as four different things. Alright, let's go ahead and start looking at the add-on kits. First up, we're going to take a look at the one that adds on to Soundwave. Now, I got a little bored, decided, hey, why not do something kind of quick, something that's kind of easy for Soundwave, just because why not? Dare I say, why not? And uh, I came up with the idea of a little album thing with a D for Decepticon. Aren't I clever? And uh, this just plugs onto Soundwave's hand like so. It's just a little album cover, but it's got a little twist to it. And this is one of the uh, one of the things that have two things, or yeah, just two things. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's got a record inside. Yep, that record just slides out. It's got a little peg, so you can plug it on stuff. And it just slides right in here, like so. So, just something quick and cool, and just something to add on to Soundwave. The next little thing. Add on, uh, what? Adds on to Bludgeon. And, uh, I do not like his sword. A lot of people will understand that I do not like the sword. Yes, it's a... Repaint of the Star Saber. I don't care. I don't like it. So I decide, hey, why not just make my own out of cardboard? So it's got a couple of, you know, paint things, whatever, silver and red. So I don't know what to say about it exactly. Um, not not exactly sure how I built it because this is an older. Uh, piece, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I made the peg, but it is Cyberverse sized, so you can indeed plug it onto his hand, and I think that's a way better sword than this crap. So, uh, yeah, just uh, a, a little something. I'll display him with the red sword just to make him complete, but just something to throw in. The next one is going to Ratchet. Now, Ratchet... I think it's cool as a medic. I think this is one of the best ratchets we've ever gotten. I've got nothing wrong with the swords. Let it, let it be known that I have nothing wrong with the swords. But uh, I decide, hey, why not give them something else to go with them? And unfortunately, it broke a little bit. So uh, I'll have to fix that. Very easy to fix, fortunately. But uh, yeah, that happened. So yeah. It's the... Torch! It's his little torch. Yeah. Not exactly accurate with the paint or mold, I guess, but uh, just something quick to make. You can plug it in his hand, and you can rotate it like so. So, uh, yeah, just something real quick. Um, I have to fix this, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was cool. It definitely looks cool. So, uh, yeah, we got that. Last but not least, this one goes to Voyager Class Megatron. Now, Megatron is pretty cool by himself, I gotta say. I love this figure. It's not accurate, but whatever. So, um, I was just sitting around, and uh, I decided, hey, why not give him a little accessory? I'm going to take off his gun for a second here. I'll explain why in a bit. But here we are. The Dark Star Saber. Just something kind of cool to add on. Let's slide that in. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. I have gotten it to stay in his hand, but it is loose and it's just very tricky. The best way to display it is to have the hand kind of up like this. And uh, that just squeezes in there. Even then, it's just kind of off. So, I decide to build something. Build something really quick. Again, 
not accurate, but uh, just something to throw in for this guy, and uh, I love it. I love the functionality, and it really does work. Fold up the fist, and you can finally plug this into place. That is the prime hand that Megatron uses, and uh, I think it's really cool. Now, this is not glued in. This is not glued into place. As you can see, that kind of flexes. The reason for that, it snaps into place. And on the bottom here, it also wraps around the peg, so that's not going anywhere. It's there. It's very easy to slide off, which is the purpose of it. And uh, just a little add-on, and you can plug the sword in. There we go. So now it's not going to fall out, and you have a nice looking Megatron to go up against your Optimus Prime. And the cool thing about this is it uses the 5mm peg functionality. A reminder, it is made out of cardboard. So you can plug that in and have it like so. I think that's really cool. I enjoy the look of that. But uh, why stop there? How about we give him another sword? How about ratchets? Because why not? Give him a little dagger. This is really fun. Uh, not sure if we can do this, but I'll try. Plug in the gun, and he can hold his cannon like so. That's actually kind of cool. I, I like that. But, not only that, this is the first time that I'm trying this, I should remind you guys. The Takara Arms Micron Sword. He can finally hold the damn thing. Look at that. I love that. That's really impressive. And again, with the 5mm peg, this uses that. And Megatron fell over. You can plug that into Optimus Prime if you wish. And also, with that being said, just for random sake, because why not? I have Ultra Magnus with me, with his hammer. You can plug in his hammer like so. I think that's really cool. It just adds a lot of fun to this toy with whatever configuration you want to put him in. So, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Just some configurations on these toys. Some little add-on kits to kind of throw in with them. And uh, I really like it. I enjoy this. It's just a couple of custom things, you know. They're not really meant to impress. I could do a better job, I, I think, honestly. But, uh, they all work. They don't suck, really. And they're fun. You gotta be a little careful, unfortunately. But, I gotta say, it's really cool to see these. So, um, yeah, what's your thoughts? Please comment below, let me know. Again, these are all made out of cardboard. I find that impressive, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Not much more to talk about. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. Not much more to say. Again, we've got the album cover. We have the actual record inside there. We have Bludgeon Sword. We have Ratchet's Torch. And we have the Prime Arm with the Dark Star Saber. So that is pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!